Welcome, Omar. And are you seeing a lot of changes in the environment due to climate change in Niger? Yeah, surely. Surely. For example, last year you, you heard about this food crisis mm -hmm. that affected uh, 7 million persons in Niger. So it's the most important impact of climate change in my country. So how are you managing to marry uh, climate change adaptation with the demands of development? Okay, uh, for us climate change is a very concrete issue. When climate is changing, rainfalls are reducing and people are less to eat. They are affected by food crisis. So this is put in a very concrete way in my country. So it's very, uh, I mean, it's, for us, it's not very difficult to, to manage with that. People, pe people have to eat. So all what uh, we are doing is to discuss them about what they are doing, their activities, and uh, what kind of incomes they are earning from the activities, and trying to discuss and find out some more uh, effective activities or strategies. What do you think Niger can teach other countries in the region? I think Niger is the mo one of the most countries in Africa where farmers do not have sufficient rainfalls. And with these very severe conditions, they're managing to live <laughs> somehow. So I think one thing is uh, maybe in Niger, when people are suffering from food crisis, then there are more or less two solutions. Either they leave, they go to Nigeria, that is very close to our country, and there they can do some income generating activities and then come back. That is one way of uh, adapting to, to very severe conditions. The other way is the, um, the, social, the social network. People are helping each other. Uh, in my country, this is very, very important for most vulnerable people. When they are affected by food crisis, they know that they have one relative somewhere that can help them. One of the strategies is to um, climate resistant seeds. Uh, before you have seeds, you have to make many research, research work, hmm? beyond prior to, to come this stage, to, to this stage, and it's, it costs much money. So funding could be, uh, you know, oriented to this kind of uh, assistance to help us being more secure in terms of resistance seed variety and in terms of uh, also um, assuring that the livestock, the livestock has enough food. So far you've talked about how um, farmers and so on in Niger need to adapt to climate change because of the problems it's causing. Do you think that climate change adaptation brings any opportunities to people in Niger? Yeah, surely. Surely, because they have their own strategy. They have the local practices, but these are not very sustainable because, you know, they're just trying to survive. When we have, they have external support, then they can, they can have, you know, they can deal with the daily, um, the daily concerns in terms of food and they can build on long-term, longer-term strategies.